Hi everyone, merhaba, this is Ayşenur Altan. Welcome to Turkish food recipes. In this episode, we're gonna make one of the traditional Turkish baklava shape burma baklava with ready filo sheets. It is very easy to make with the help of the sheets. Very light and crunchy, you can adjust the syrup amount to your taste. As a whole family, we loved it so much, it was finished in no time. So let's get started. I'm gonna begin with melting 100 grams of butter. If you want, you can use a little bit one fourth of a vegetable oil instead of butter, but this way it will be more delicious. And in my bowl, I have about two cups of ground walnuts. To shape my filo sheets, I'm gonna use this oklava. It's a tin, a rolling pin. If you cannot find, I think you can use a wooden hangers down part. If you can separate it, it would be very nice to use it. Very a thin wooden stick you would have. So I have my filo sheets. I'm gonna uh, take some of them and put the others back to the package so they don't uh, get dry out. This is important because uh, since they are very thin, they intend to dry out very easily even from the air in the kitchen. So get about 10 sheets to use and nicely pack the others. And use a damp cloth to close the ones you're not working right now. So I'm gonna get one sheet now. I'm gonna begin to shape with the short side and I fold it a little bit and going to brush generously with butter. You don't have to brush all the way but make sure every part gets some. And uh, sprinkle about a uh, two teaspoon just eyeballing here ground walnuts so here is how to shape it just tightly roll the filo sheets with the uh, help of the oklava and uh, squeeze or uh, wrinkle I should say from both ends to the middle and you will get the shape of burma and take it out easily from the oklava this is how you shape it uh, actually our yufka sheets our baklava sheets were a little dry even though we were very careful to keep it damp but I'm sure it will be more easier for you to shape it if your filo sheets are softer. Let me show you one more time. As you can see I sprinkled like in the half of the sheet all the way and roll it tightly. Bring the sides together to middle to give a wrinkle shape and take it out from oklava and also try to place them as much as tightly as you can to baking pan and continue to shape the other sheets until your baking tray is full after this point my daughter continued to shape the filo sheets and as always first time you get a little bit hard but after that you get used to it and she perfectly continued to fill the baking tray for me we covered the sheets with the stretch film so they don't get dry out even when we were working with the others and now it's time to brush some more on top of the sheets and bake it in the oven 
preheated 170 Celsius degree oven until you have nice color. You have to slice your burma baklavas before you bake it because it will be very crunchy after that. So I cut them in 4 portions and baked in the oven. And here is the final look. Our uh, baklavas are cooled down and also the simple syrup uh, sorry my friends I forgot to film it here but it's very simple boil two cups of sugar and one and a half cups of water and after it is boiled continue to cook on low heat for another seven eight minutes drop some lemon juice and turn off the heat to cool down by the way I have also another baklava shape you can make in the channel without using oklava check that video recipe too and you can also make both of them in a bigger pan at the same time and here behind the scene I wanted to show you with the baklava we made authentic Turkish flaky pastry afyon bükme it has green lentils in it very delicious I have shared the recipe already on the channel uh, I wanted to mention it here so you can make if you haven't tried yet. So our baklava is ready to enjoy in the iftar. It comes out so delicious, very light, crunchy. And final note, you can also adjust the sugar according to your taste. You don't have to put all of the syrup and it will be more lighter and crunchy. So give it a try and share your comments and photos with me. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and vlogs. Afiyet olsun.